cool. So here we are. Welcome to our annual virtual contributor conference, Nest with Fedora. This is our third Nest. Kind of unbelievable. Yeah. We thought it was going to be like a one-off temporary thing, and now it's definitely, it's an institution now. <laughs> Yes, I think we're all kind of, hopefully, most of us are used to hopping at this point. Um, but um, I'm super excited for this year's conference. There is a ton of awesome content and people who are going to be presenting and hanging out with us. Um, I guess we should do a little introduction. Um, just for those who don't know us, I know a lot of people do know us, so you can ignore this part, but... Um, I am Marie Norden. <laughs> I am Fedora's Community Action and Impact Coordinator. I started uh, a bit less than three years ago now in November of 2019, and I have been happily supporting the Fedora community um, since then. And I am uh, Matthew Miller. I am the Fedora Project Leader. I have been doing this since 2014 and have been involved in Fedora for the decade before that. So, um, yeah, I, I hope that you know who I am, but it's okay if you don't. Um, I am around. Uh, feel free to chat. I um, love to talk to everybody. Um, I don't have enough time in the day to do all the, that, that that I'd love to, but um, yeah, uh, uh, don't be strangers. I'm Ben Cotton. I'm the Fedora Program Manager. Um, you probably recognize me from all of the email I send on a uh, endless basis. Um, I've been in the role for, gosh, uh, a little over four years now. And as we were talking, I realized now that Nest has started, I've officially been to more Nests than Flocks in my, uh, my decade plus of Fedora contribution. So that's kind of weird. That's a good poll. We should make that a poll. Action be <laughs> We have a bunch of polls prepared. None are in uh, Hopin yet, but definitely keep an eye out on the poll section. We have some fun stuff the, planned. The what are we drinking poll was there already. Uh, nice. Um, All right. Um, are we ready to get into some some things? Get into some let's, things. Let's yes, things. Let's okay, things. here we go. All right, so just to start out, um, just a reminder, hopefully you all know this already, but the Code of Conduct does apply to all interactions in at Nest and elsewhere in the community. Um, if you're not familiar with the Code of Conduct, that QR code on your screen will take you to it. Um, during Nest, if you have uh, any issues that need addressed, um, email Code of Conduct at fedoraproject.org or send Matthew and or Marie a direct message through Hopin. Um, we have several moderators who will be keeping an eye on things, and I don't expect there to be any issues because this is a wonderful community, but this is our code of conduct and we will enforce it. Um, if you haven't seen the schedule yet, that's available as well. Um, it's also there in Hopin. Um, you can just show up and go to all the sessions you want, or if there are particular sessions, um, now's a good time to check and make sure that uh, you can actually get to them. Um, if you don't, if you're not able to attend, because the first rule of conference club is that there are always two talks that you want to see at the same time, um, replay will be available. You'll get an email at the end of the event that ha that shows you how to, you know, come rewatch the videos. And, and then, we will do uh, this assuming... as soon as possible. So don't well, don't worry. We don't need people. Don't need to email us about when will the videos be there. They will be there yeah. soon. Yeah, the replays will be available, I believe, immediately and for three months through Hopin. Um, and then we will have them on our YouTube channel um, by the end of this year. <laughs> Excellent. Good, good goal so, setting. I did notice that Hopin has this new like add to agenda feature so if you, there's a button at the top that says schedule and I think you can do it there or through the reception page there's a schedule and that also has an ad I haven't tried the add to agenda because I'm just going to be here constantly but 
and you try it out, let us know how it goes. And one cool thing about virtual sessions is you could just um, open two browsers and be in two sessions at once if you're that kind of person who can take in multiple streams like that, or you think you can. Um, don't forget to claim your badge. Uh, I already got mine when I tested the link, so yay. Um, but yeah, badges are fun, and you should definitely get your badge. Um, if you're not familiar with Fedora badges, they're a way to mark um, various activities that you've done in and for the community. Um, it's just a really good way to sort of gamify your participation. And as you explore the badges, um, you will probably find things like, oh, I could do that just to get a badge. And that's totally cool because you're still doing useful, awesome things in the project. So don't feel guilty. And of course, it's not too late to invite your friends um, or your enemies or strangers that you pass on you know, the street or on social media or wherever. Um, you know, the registration is free, as you hopefully know, and it remains open until the end of the event. So it's never too late to join. Um, and we would love to see as many Fedorans as possible come and participate. Um, just a quick sidebar here. We have 750 registrations right now, which is definitely higher than we had at the beginning of the event last year. And we had 905 total registrations. So I am like confident we are going to hit 1,000 this year. And we can't exactly. We can just use your help by sharing that link around into your Fedora channels, networks, and definitely um, invite your friends as well. If people missed that badges link, where can they find it again? It's in the reception, and I also pinned it um, at the top of the event chat. So we'll have that will kind of change as the day goes on, um, but it's in the reception mainly. And that also is the case if the badges service happens to be down when you try and claim your link. That's actually a help wanted item, so uh, we'll we'll talk about that some other point. <laughs> Um, but yeah, announcements. Um, actually, these announcements are mostly there are surveys. Uh, we did a big uh, contributor survey last year and this year again, a user and contributor survey. There's a session about that and I'll talk about a little bit about that in my state of Fedora as well. But we have additional more specific surveys on different things. Uh, this one is about extra packages for Enterprise Prize Linux or EPL or EPL if you prefer an E kind of sound. Um, this is a really important and very popular part of the project that makes a lot of the software that we package up in Fedora available on, you know, uh, CentOS, Alma Linux, RHEL, Rocky, those kind of uh, the downstream distributions from us. Um, but it, it is hugely popular, and so um, this we're investing some more in that. And this is a survey about that. You should. Um, Appel. Appel says Ben. No, that one is wrong. I'm sorry. Apple or Apple. Those are your choices. I, you can say it however you want. I don't care. And then we also have one on documentation, which is another area that we are um, putting some focus into. Epal. Nope. Nope. And yeah, um, so Marie is moving on to a new job, um, which is bittersweet. It's going to be good for her, um, but she's been so awesome in this role. Uh, we are interviewing some people now. We've got um, some applicants for this already, uh, but the job is still open until filled. So if you know somebody or are somebody who would like to help Fedora in a very involved way, um, this job is for you, uh, maybe. Um, so follow the link and um, there's some more information. Talk to any of the three of us or any, actually anybody, Fedora Council, anybody in Fedora about this and um, yeah, uh, we hope, I, I don't know if we'll find someone who is as awesome as Marie, but I hope we'll find someone who is awesome in, you know, their own different way to bring Fedora into the next next step of things. Cool. So I am going to talk about the socials. And in um, the chat, Dan reminded me that there is a Minecraft server up 
So there is a portal session, which actually just provides you a link to how to get there because Minecraft is not integrated with Hopin. Um, but there's a whole bunch of instructions and how to do that. And Dan uh, Cermak is the one who is running that. So if you have any questions, make sure to tag him, chat him maybe in the Nest Flock to Fedora Element chat and find out some more details about that because it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's not yet integrated. Also, uh, I hope that whoever is hanging out over there takes some sweet screenshots and shares them um, with us so we can see what's happening. I'm not personally a Minecraft person, but I like the aesthetic and I'm, I'll be happy and excited to see what y'all are doing over there. Cool. And so, oh, go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to say, I know Alexandra would um, like me to say something about MindTest, which is an open source Minecraft-like project um, that, I don't know, uh, Minecraft is cool, uh, but, you know, it's not open source. And, hey, this, again, my continual shout out to Microsoft. Come on, if you're serious about open source, open source Minecraft. That's what that's what we need. Uh, but there's also, you know, community driven project um, and it would be cool to see some of that for the next Fedora event. Cool. Sorry. Cool. Oh, no worries. Um, so we're going to be hanging out in the Fedora Museum again this year. Uh, there is a portal session that will pop up whenever the social times are happening. So if you would like to come check out this super cool 8-bit map that a former intern, Daria Chowdhury, has uh, designed for us. It is super cute, super fedora themed with badger and panda art and wallpapers and cookies and all of your favorite uh, fedora things. Um, and of course, people will be there. So if you want to socialize and hang out in between uh, the sets of sessions, definitely go check out the Fedora Museum. So last year we skipped this. This year we want to do it again. Today's social is a nest group photo. So all you have to do is come into the session, join us on camera, smile, wave, frown, make an angry face, do whatever you want. And I will later then grab your screenshot and add it to a group photo, just like this one. And we'll publish it and have it all around for people. Um, to you know, share and check out as they want to. Super excited about making a group photo. It makes me miss our like flock group photo. We were all like standing super close together, which now I can't even imagine doing with that many people. Um, <laughs> but uh, I hope you stop by. It is hosted by the DI team, people like Zippel, Ashlyn, Luna, um, people we know and enjoy. So definitely come by and say hi and get included in this year's group photo. Tomorrow's social is going to be the infamous pub quiz with Aoife and myself. We're going to host. Um, thanks to Ben and Matthew for working on the trivia questions. So we made yeah. it a, a little less hard for Aoife. And also, if the answers are wrong, we get to blame Ben and Matthew and not Aoife. Um, <laughs> We promise it is not rigged. Yeah, uh, Aoife um, was like, I, 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 she likes likes it, but was tired of being told that she was wrong every time after putting so much work into it. So, and as someone who has told Aoife she was wrong about her pub quiz before, I was very sorry, so uh, volunteered to help uh, make the things this time. So this time, when something's wrong, um, blame, blame me as is proper. And just to All be right. clear, I don't promise that it's not rigged. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So for Saturday, um, the social is going to be tried and true, all-time fave Pictionary. And also, you can claim your cake with the F cake batch. Um, you can bring snacks or drinks or something. You don't have to. But uh, it's a chance to earn another badge if you don't have it yet. Cool. I think we're on to the next section here. Yes, sponsors. Thank you very much for making, you know, this event possible and a lot of Fedora possible. Obviously, Red Hat, my dear employer, thank you. Um, we appreciate it, as always. 
And um, other gold sponsors here, Lenovo, you can buy laptops with Fedora pre-installed. That's awesome. Alma Linux, a downstream project uh, um, to make a freely available enterprise Linux um, RHEL-like operating system available to everybody. Um, also, thank you for your help. OpenSUSE, one of our uh, friendly distro um, alternatives, if uh, other ways to put together a Fedora distribution. It's good that we are all kind of working together on the same same overall thing. So it's um, hello to our friends there. And uh, Datto, uh, which is uh, generously sponsored a couple times here. Uh, and uh, GitLab uh, also, I think they're, are they new as a sponsor this year? Um, nope, they sponsored last year's sponsor. Well, thank you, GitLab. And GitLab is also providing us uh, free access to their GitLab hosted service. So um, we've got some stuff running there. And then also DOS Keyboard with their very cool Fedora keycaps here um, that they made for us. Uh, we still need to get them to open source their um, con keyboard control software, though. So let's uh, talk to them. But they make really, really great keyboards. So. And also um, some other partnerships here. KDE, uh, we are working with them. They um, just like GNOME, these are desktop environments that are really important to our you know, experience of Fedora as the operating system we interact with right in front of us. Uh, Opensource.com, I that's the, uh, a what Red Hat sponsored thing to just kind of talk about in uh, open source in a wide way. I think Ben's participated in that a lot, and they are uh, I don't know. It, it's a it's a nice thing that. Oh, wow, cool. That is really, also very community driven to uh, talk about open source. Um, we, should, we should put Fedora Magazine up here sometime because that's our own thing too. Um, but it's uh, th this one is you know, more general open source stuff. And then Tux Digital, who is helping with the Fedora podcast and um, also some awesome friendly people over there um, who you know had some nice things to say about Fedora recently. So thank you, everybody. One last note about that one. This is the Destination Linux Network that is now rebranded as Tux Digital. So they were also here with us last year, but I uh, just thought I'd spread the awareness on their name change and branding change. And, and I see how everybody is on theme with blue as the color there just coming around. I did the, notice right? that as well. And, you know, Fedora has a blue logo. I think it might be, uh, I don't know, a tech thing, an open source thing. <laughs> we're all about the blue. It's a nice color. It's very soothing. <laughs> cool. So let's talk about swag. There is a Nest of Fedora swag pack that is going to be available. Here is where you can sign up for your Nest swag pack. It's different than last year. We are not going through the Cool Stuff store this time. Um, working with a different vendor to kit up our swag packs. Um, we're making 500. There's more than 500 people here. So if you don't sign up in time, you're still going to get swag, but it'll be something else. We have a swag, a small swag bundle. We have a t-shirt. We have a couple other things we can send out. So make sure to sign up. Um, yes, there is a link other than the QR code. We can get that into the chat just momentarily. Um, maybe a Vipple is around. Oh, there he goes. He got it for us. Cool. Thank you, Vipple. So, um, definitely sign up for a swag pack. There's lots of fun stuff in there. There's a surprise item with our new mascot on it. There's stuff from our vendors. Um, there's uh, a couple items from last year, but not too many repeats. Um, so, uh, you know, sign up and also please be patient with us. There is a lot of delays and different um, requirements and things around global shipping and we know it can be very frustrating when people in the US or the EU are getting their swag very quickly. And then in other places like APAC, it takes a while. And I do apologize for that. We do our very, very best to get you the swag in a timely manner. Um, but uh, there's a lot that's was, out of our control. Go ahead. One, one of the survey comments from the general survey was a thank you for getting swag to Cambodia. Um, they said they we're happy to get it, even though it was, I don't know, eight months or something to get there. But uh, I don't think, I think they were genuine, not not passive aggressive about it. But 
yeah, it, it can take some time, but we're doing our best. Ziffel says he's going to enjoy seeing it in 2024. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it, I totally understand the frustration, but there are some things that are out of our control. No matter how many times I email the vendor, there's really nothing that I can do. So um, enjoy and also please be patient with us. Cool. So um, some of you might know that we have a trademark uh, allowance for Hello Tux partnership, I guess. Okay. Uh, with Hello Tux, and they offer t-shirts and polos with the Fedora logo. Um, I think they also have like a hoodie and maybe a zip-up hoodie. Um, and there is a promo code there for you to use um, if you would like to purchase one of those. We also have a collection up in the Cool Stuff store. Um, yes, we know you have to log in. And yes, we agree it's not an ideal solution. Um, I've actually recently told that we're going to change the solution again. So there will be more updates on what that will be. But I'm super hoping that a login is not a part of that solution. And Marie is also hoping it will be the next F-Cakes problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still my thing to at least start and, uh, figuring. I, I'm meeting, doing some meetings about it now to kind of see what will happen with that. but. Um, for now, you can use the Cool Stuff store, and I think there's seven items plus t-shirts in there um, for you to check out and purchase if you so choose. Cool. So basically, this part is a big thank you. It's a thank you to everyone who submitted talks and sessions um, for those who are accepted, thank you for, you know, doing all the preparation to make a great experience for everyone here um, participating at NEST. We really appreciate you and appreciate all of the effort and um, just heart that you put into Fedora and making it an awesome community. And of course, special thank you to Marie for all the work on putting together the uh, NEST. She did a huge amount. Um, and also, were, were we going to bring her up on the stage? Yes, I actually talked. So um, Issa asked to join the screen right now. I think you have to like click. There, there she is. Hi. So Issa, Issa has been you. working with me as um, community engagement intern. I've been so happy to have someone to help me with events, and Issa has done a tremendous amount to make this event a huge success. I'm going to let her introduce herself and say a couple words uh, while you're up here. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Issa. I've been the community architect intern working with Marie and community projects um, since May. Um, this is my first Nest with Fedora event, and I'm very excited to see all the hard work um, kind of come to life. Um, I hope that you all enjoy the next three days that we have planned and that you can all participate as much as possible. And thank you to Ben, Matthew, and Marie for allowing me to join you guys in working for NEST. Of course. If we could allow <laughs> yeah. more people to, we would. Um, <laughs> so Wait, thank you, we, Lisa. Go ahead. We can allow more people. If you'd like to help <laughs> next, next time with other events, uh, talk to Isa or Murray or me about um, the other events that we do, because we definitely could always use volunteers to help with these things. Yes. We have people, you know, coordinating socials, coordinating um, the, the hop in platform, like setting everything up. We have artists who work on different like designs, the different things you see all over the hop in, hop in platform, like in the reception and for the sessions and for promotions and all that kind of stuff. Um, we need people who write, we need all kinds of people um, to help out. And um, we've also, you know, not just Lisa helped me out, there was a whole group of people who did various things, Jess, the bull. Um, I know I'm gonna forget people, so please don't, don't uh, get offended, but a ton of people helped out with this, with the planning and the setup. And so much thanks to all of you. Um, for doing that, and we yeah. hope that 
Oh, go ahead. Uh, Neil mentions the hatch events in the um, in the chat as well. So uh, we wanted to be able to do this in person, but it really felt like it wasn't wasn't ready yet in the world. But uh, we wanted to kind of you know not quite still be in our nest so much uh, this time. So we had something called hatch events, um, kind of a you know keeping with the bird. Um, theme there where we had some local meetups around the world and um, people organized those. Uh, there was one in Rochester, New York that um, Marie and I went to. It was, uh, uh, yeah, it was uh, nice to have that and actually see people again. And so, yeah, yeah uh, thank you for everybody around the world for organizing those things. And you know, as we go forward into whatever happens next year, I don't know what we'll do again. I really do hope to have Flock in person, but I think we'll have some virtual thing as well. Um, we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, we have eight hatches all over the world. And there's one in the Czech Republic, um, or yep. Czechia, if you like. Um, I think it's August 11th. Week. Yeah, it's August 11th, and that is organized by Fran. Oh, there he is. And also, I know Dorka is putting a lot of work into that. So I hope it's a great time. Definitely take pictures. Uh, I can't wait to see how it goes. But we are like pretty much out of time. Um, yeah, we that, thought we were going to uh, have some time. Up next? <laughs> it's you. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs>